fost tu, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea la tale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. Shalom, Rabbi Asa. Shalom to you, David. Zdravei, bună ziua, hello. It's good to see you. Excuse me, it's good to see everyone here. And uh, we're continuing with story 29, today being uh, Monday, the 3rd of June, 2013, in Southern California. We're about 40 miles north of Los Angeles in a beautiful town called Fullerton, part of Orange County, Northern Orange County. And we are blessed uh, to be hosted by my wonderful cousins, Ani and Vivi, who invited us to do this story in their beautiful home. Rabbi Asa is going to talk to us about the 1936 Olympics in Germany and he's going to fast forward to the 1972 massacre at the Munich Olympics. Rabbi Asa. Thank you, David. The 1936 Olympics are indication of how a dictator like Hitler Make you right in hell. can influence the world and to bluff his way into prominence. The 1936 Olympics were held in Berlin uh, despite of all the objections of civilized people that this is not the right time and the right place to be in Berlin, Hitler prevailed and the Olympics took place. Now we know, all of us know about Jerry Owens, the, 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 the African American, or at that time it was called Black American, or American Negro, which, we, which is a word that we don't use anymore, and we should never use it, but that he was part of the U.S. delegation. And despite of all the hopes of, uh, of the German competitors, uh, Owens won the race that he was scheduled to, to, to compete in. And this was a great, really negative to to the superior race, which is the white race, or right. the, uh, the, the Aryan race, and the Germans really didn't like it at all. To see that this. a black guy from America was much better running, runner, than the great Ameri uh, German, German or other uh, athletes. Now I'd like to skip from 19... 36. Well, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but I think a lot of our viewers, perhaps not the younger ones, but a lot of our older viewers know very well that Hitler refused to shake hands with Owens. Exactly. Which... Not only that, not only that, he had very careful uh, uh, sort of like filter to make sure that no Jewish athletes right, participate. participated in the 36 Olympics. And we know at least of two right. of them that because of their name, because of their background, maybe right. they were father excluded. or mother right. was, uh, was uh, not Jewish. Which perhaps uh, they might have beaten Owens, <laughs> but now yeah. he got double dose of uh, right. uh, reverse uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Now, the Olympics supposed to be a world event which is directed by a commission, very important commissions. They already know 10 years in advance right. where the Olympics are going to take place in the year uh, 2020 or whatever it is. And we must respect the leaders of the movement of the uh, Olympic Committee. Committee. Unfortunately, at the last Olympics, very recently, the Olympic directors neglected 
or totally ruled against a brief commemoration ceremony for the victims of the 1972 massacre. 72 massacre. Now what happened in 72 is that unfortunately uh, Arab terrorists were able to infiltrate the Israeli compound at the, at the, at the Olympic village and uh, kidnapped literally about 11 Israeli athletes and also killed and not yet and they kept them prisoners uh, trying to uh, show the world why the Arabs are against uh, the, the Israeli athletes mm -hmm. well uh, those were terrorists they were not they were Muslims but God forbid not every Muslim is capable of such atrocity and uh, uh, they did kill uh, one or two of them as a sign of the, the things that are to, to, come. to come but the German uh, riot uh, police or commando tried to rescue the rest of the of the uh, Israeli athletes that were still alive right. and unfortunately they perished. They yeah. perished in the helicopter uh, with, uh, with uh, some of their Muslim guards or Muslim terrorists. Right. <coughs> so the Olympic Committee refused. On what grounds? On grounds that this is not the time or the place to remember the victims. So when, of would, it be the right, when would it be the right time and place? I would like to ask them. To tell me where would the place be? I think I think this yeah. uh, this uh, this is it, not a it shows yeah it shows not only certain prejudice but shows certain insensitivity absolutely to uh, to people that were uh, yeah. what if they were Chinese athletes. what if they were from another country would they have reacted the same way I mean I they were Olympians I don't, I don't think so what well, we don't know I that. don't think so so because uh, uh, well maybe I'm paranoid but. I don't think that if uh, if the murdered athletes were of different uh, nationality. nationality, race, or color, whatever it is, that this would have been the case. Well, that's yeah. not a that's not if this if in case yeah. it's true. This is not yeah. you know uh, a good thing to to show to the world not to recognize a massacre of athletes. Period, which happened to be Israelis. Right, and what an important lesson the Olympic Committee uh, missed, literally Absolutely. Uh, uh, l literally destroyed by telling the new generation of athletes that the Olympics is not a political uh, uh, contest, that this is not the place and the time to kidnap people and to kill them, That's right. and to teach the future generation of our young men and women who are the teams of each country uh, that indeed this is something universal, the Olympics, That's rather right. than something that we have to use for our own uh, purposes and needs. Now the question is this, if the Olympic Committee, the official body, the International Olympic Committee doesn't stand up for the memory of the massacred athletes which happened to be Israelis, who else should stand for them at an official level because they represented the Olympics, these participants. Exactly. And yes, they did miss a great opportunity and unfortunately not only did they miss an opportunity to teach something valuable but they also created an opportunity to teach that silence is acceptable for whatever reason it is when something so horrible was done to other human beings and that's the second part that troubles me because people say, well, you see, the Olympic Committee doesn't even care about that Olympians were massacred there. They care about only running their, you know, enterprise and uh, the competition. So hopefully they will perhaps, revise this. Perhaps the key word is silence. And maybe in the next segment, we'll talk about the silence of the world while we, the Jews of Europe, were being slaughtered. Uh, and being uh, gas. And I'm sure you, when you talk about that, you're going to make reference to the famous, famous uh, expression when you are the last person to walk 
towards the gas yes. chamber. Bono Bonhoeffer. That's yes. right. The German Lutheran pastor. That's right. Bonhoeffer. And said, with this, we'll conclude our story. Yeah. But tell us the the, the little. Well, uh, he he said that when they came for the uh, uh, Jews, I didn't mind it because I wasn't a Jew. Yeah, your pastor Bonhoeffer was yeah. Lutheran. When they came for the Gypsy labor unions, the labor unions, I didn't care because I wasn't a worker, a union person. union member. When they came for the gypsies, and you could build your own category of, of people. All the people. Itself. I didn't. I stay silent. I didn't, I didn't care. say anything because I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Basically, it says when they came for me. There was no one left to speak for me, and I went, and it did. That's right, it did. So the lesson I think that you're going to talk to us in uh, story number 29 is the whole idea of how we are all human beings first, and then we are Americans, Jews, Romanians, Chinese, and so forth. So we all are in the brotherhood of mankind. Exactly. Goethe said. And Beethoven put it to music in Symphony Number no. Nine, O to Joy, and so forth. Yes. So thank you very much. My Rafael favorite, si my favorite symphony, by the way, especially the end. And so on. Next time, Rabbi Asa, who is also a proficient musician. Uh, he's going to sing with Do Re Mi, with notes. Yes. Thank you, Rabbi Asa. Thank you, David. Shalom to everybody. Okay, I think that somebody came. Yes, and yes, yes. Our host, uh, lovely Ani, came. Let's see. Shai mai vrea, shai mai vrea, drăguță, Ana, Ca să te îmbrac, măi, pona frama. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr, cercei, măi, Ana, Dar eu n-am de unde, măi, cu Adana. Auzi, dragă, fata, nechi, dragă, Aseară, bolivă, tradiciană. Și acum nu sparale, să-ți cumpăr sandale, Buzunarele sunt goale bani Mai apoi drăguță Încă o băncuță Și băui în colinicuță Dar